Okay, guys, I was reading tonight, and I found something I thought I should share with you. I, I had covered a lot of the Brenda Hamilton cases back when it first happened. They released one that I hadn't seen, and it says that this will be the final release of all information on her. And I felt like it should be shared since we've covered it so much. It says, almost two years ago after Brenda Hamilton's death, a DNA analyst, <laughs> can't talk tonight, analyst, might be getting closer to identifying the unknown animal that killed the 77-year-old Pantigo woman in February 2019. Ginger Clark, a DNA analyst at the University of Florida Williams R. Maples Center for Forensic Medicine, has been analyzing and running diagnostic tests on evidence found at the scene of Hamilton's death since June. Prior to that, Western Carolina University biologist and Microtrace LLC analyzed evidence, but those groups couldn't determine whether a wild or domesticated animal was responsible for the attack. Notice they wouldn't name an animal. In the months since they took the case, the Florida team has discovered new DNA that could prove helpful in identifying the animal. It appears to me that there's evidence of another dog or dogs, Clark said in November 12th email that Beaufort County Manager Brian Allegood read aloud during the Beaufort County Commissioner's meeting on Monday. Alerted to the scene by their two barking dogs, Hamilton's neighbors found her in a ditch submerged to her shoulders in water near her Pantigo home. She was suffering from severe injuries when they found her. Hamilton, who was a teacher at Pungo Christian Academy, died at the Vidant Health Center three days later. Investigators found minimal physical evidence at the scene of the attack. That evidence included a flashlight Hamilton had been carrying, as well as a dead nutria found near, near the body. Most of the evidence we lost in the water, according to the authorities. The dogs that drew attention Uh, to Hamilton's body were known to accompany her on her morning walks. Those dogs were quarantined and observed by investigators for 10 days following the attack, and they were eventually ruled not dangerous. Investigators found bone fragments in one stool sample taken from the dogs and possible human hair in another. Samples from the flashlight don't match the known dogs, Clark told Allegan. The samples were blood flakes from the lens and the hood of the flashlight, as well as from the thread which screws into the base of the flashlight. I'm still analyzing the data, but still inclined to believe that the other dogs were involved. Clark said previously, investigators had conducted a neighborhood sweep in which they took DNA samples from 14 dogs near the location of the attack. Clark's team in Florida is running samples from the neighborhood sweep against the new samples discovered at the scene. The Beaufort County Sheriff's Office is awaiting to receive the results to those tests. It could be that that's one of the neighbor's dogs. They were dogs that the investigators called upon the sweep to do the DNA because they're running against that, Allegan said. Or it could be a brand new dog altogether or an unknown animal that we don't have DNA samples on. That's really good right there. But Clark seems to indicate that based on the results, there is an unknown dog or canine animal involved in this attack that we do not have DNA samples on. After the sweep, none of the dogs in the surrounding area tested positive to be the dogs responsible for Miss Hamilton's attack and then later her death. If you notice, unknown is used a lot. He, I'll let you all determine what you think about that. Don't forget, guys, June 2nd coming up. Uh, I'm going to be releasing the new investigation on the Girl Scout murders with a witness that came forward to me. It's going to be a little over an hour long. It's going to be June 2nd. It's going to drop at 5 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. You're not going to want to miss it. I don't know how long it will be left out if it's took down. Um, you're going to want to catch it as soon as it comes out. 5 o'clock, June 2nd. Um, if they remove it, delete it, or flag my channel, I will not be able to repost it. So the best thing to do is just try to get it, download it as uh, fast as you can. I know this is going to go crazy. A lot of information from her that's never been heard in 50 years. Thank you guys for watching. Until then, keep your head on a swivel and don't be something's dinner.